So now what we're going to do is we're going to work with clip art images and I'm going to show you how to wash them out and use them as a watermark and you can do this in any Microsoft Publisher documentation that you're going to be creating. In my brochure over here in my left hand flap what I've done is I've put some information in a text box but then what I've done is sent to the back is a clip art image that I found online and I have washed it out and I'm using it as a watermark. Now when you find a clip art image that you want to do this with not all pictures are going to work as well as some of the others. This one happened to work out very well. When you experiment with doing the washout you'll you'll see some of the differences depending on the picture that you're using. So I'm going to go back over to my blank template and you can see over here on my left hand flap that I have, I have a text box with my title in it. I have another text box over here with my information and then this is the picture that I want to wash out and use as a watermark. So this picture I f again I found online probably on Google Images and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, there's two ways to do it I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click format picture and when you right click and go to format picture you get this box that shows up and under image control I'm going to change it from automatic to wash out and then I'm going to click OK. Now if your picture doesn't wash out as well you can make modifications to it so if you go back on the picture and go to format picture you can adjust the brightness and the contrast of your picture to wash it out more or to get some of the color to stand out more. You just want to make sure that your text is going to be able to be read over your watermark picture. So then I'm going to click OK. And I actually think that's too washed out so I'm going to hit undo. Now you can see if I try to move this picture on top of my text what it actually does is cover it. So we have to format it again. So we're going to right click on it and go to format picture and under the layout tab we're going to click on through and click OK and then what we're going to do is we're going to get move this picture over again so we can see our text box. Now when you create a text box by default it normally colors the background with white. We actually don't want any color in it whatsoever even though you can't really see anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my text box and then go to my text box tools and what we're going to do is we're going to change the background color and instead of going that way I'm, I like my shortcut so I'm going to actually right click on my text box and I'm going to click on format text box and we want to change the fill color to no fill I'm going to click OK and then the next thing we want to do is we want to under the home tab. You want to make sure you click on the, pic the picture so that it's highlighted and you want to send it backward and what that does is right now we're kind of working with layers so we have a text box layer and then we had this clip art layer and the clip art layer was actually on top of the text box but because we formatted it so that the text goes through the image and now we're sending it behind the text box now it acts as a watermark and we have it behind all the text and you can adjust it, you can move it, and you can resize it and because you're working with layers you're going to have to tr make sure you capture the right box that you want to move and that may require clicking around on the screen a little bit so just now I know that I have my, my clip art selected over here I can make this larger or maybe I want to make my text box a little larger and that's how you would do a watermark.